news of the second shutdown is not great. Matt Hanna on Northeast Fremont is known for its drinks. Not so much its limited food menu. With bars and restaurants across Oregon ordered to only offer takeout over the coming weeks, Matt Hanna's owner, Liz Hanna, will be shutting down for a while. It is so rough all around. And this is just me. My employees are trying to take care of me. I'm trying to take care of them. They all have children, parents, immunodeficiencies themselves, student loans. Stories like that explain why the Oregon Restaurant and Lodging Association, or ORLA for short, had been advocating for the immediate creation of a $75 million hospitality relief fund. I've talked to operators who have said that it is obviously the economic impact of this, but a lot of it's the emotional toll that it takes. Perhaps Oregon Governor Kate Brown heard Orla's plea for help. Late Tuesday, the governor announced the state is setting aside $55 million for struggling businesses, specifically those in the hospitality industry and small businesses and those owned by women and people of color, among others. We need relief now. Uh, we need that help from the state legislature. Greg Astley says $55 million in financial assistance is a great start, and he applauds the governor for prioritizing the hospitality industry. Liz Hanna is also appreciative, because without help from the state... We're gonna die. We're gonna turn to dust waiting for the feds to get their stuff together for us. Hanna hopes she can secure a piece of the $55 million pie. Hi, buddy. In the meantime, she eagerly awaits the day she can welcome patrons back to Mad Hannah, though she's not confident that'll happen this year. I don't believe that we're going to reopen this year, any of us. And I believe that we will be lucky if 20% of us open next year. Uh, it's so disheartening. The $55 million in coronavirus relief funds will be distributed to the counties within the next several weeks. The counties will then decide how businesses can apply for these funds. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.